Hi guys, welcome to Film Lab. I'm the Red Black Woman. And I'm Steven. Today in Film Lab, we'll be doing Film Lab's Pick, where we'll be recommending really nice movies for you to watch. And at the same time, we'll be reviewing these movies very briefly so you can get more insights or maybe even form an opinion about these movies. Today, I'll be reviewing Ijakumo, the born again stripper. Mm, and I'll be discussing Nigerian Prince. Great. So just a heads up, it's a bit of a spoiler, just in case you haven't watched any of these movies, but nonetheless, we wouldn't give out too much, just enough for you to tease, for it to tease you rather, to actually go ahead and watch the movie. We're going to go on a quick short break, and when we come back, we're going to review these movies. See you soon. Action. Leave now! But I didn't fuck you! Ah! Oga! Mama is on the phone. What am I doing here? You're there to learn who you are and where you're from. I'm not Nigerian. I'm American. I want to go home. Where are you going? To upgrade my return flight. Your mother canceled it the day you arrived. Mom, you lied to me. Can I please come home? My mother does not usually have guests. My name is Pios. So what do you do for a living? I think you know what I do. Are we good? Yes. Print your name, sign and date. It's yours. Drive! He will kill you whether you find the money or not. Suspect is heading downstairs. Hey! What's going on? It is not safe. If you want to go back home, it is now or never. Welcome back, guys. This is still Film Lab on the Triple M Show, where I'll be reviewing Ijakumo, the born again stripper. Say, let me start with the things that I like, or let me use my favorite word, appreciate. Mm. One thing I do appreciate about the movie, Toyin Abraham in particular, is how she has been able to brilliantly intertwine traditional religion with cinema. Oh, with modern filmmaking. Yeah. yeah, with modern filmmaking. Because growing up, you would watch traditional religion with with filmmaking and it's like, gives you the creeps per se. But she was able to present it in a different light other than the light that it's usually, I'm a Christian by the way, so this has nothing to do with my personal beliefs as a Christian. This has just everything to do with me as a film, enthusiast and i really appreciate appreciate the fact that she was able to brilliantly do that at the same time not slander christianity because i did go online and i you know saw certain comments that certain people wrote and somebody was really angry like oh she's slandering christianity i actually beg to differ i think what she did on the flip side tastefully did was she was able to reveal the rot within churches or basically christianity and one thing she did is in doing that she didn't slander it she just said okay oh see you this is actually what is actually going on but was today. it was it balanced because you have to look at i would say she favored the traditional belief more than she actually favored christianity i wouldn't actually say that it, it was, was balanced. balanced maybe that's why there was a bit of an uproar i can i completely understand but i mean if you look at it the villains were also using some some level of jazz or some level of at exactly. the same time so, like, exactly it was it was still like i mean you could, and then you could, she there was also, some level of balance but then at the same time was there any good christian character yes there were i was just going to yeah, say there that there were some good christian characters like pj's wife PJ played by Kunle Remy, brilliant actor. PJ's wife, you can see that she was actually invested in Christianity. She would read her Bible. She would talk about the word of God. Basically, 
she did also try and balance it because just like what steven said at the same time the people that were behind that whole false church etc were people that were using traditional powers and they were actually the main lady uh her, her Villains, name yeah. her name is bimbo bimbo akintola literally she was the head of that and she was the villain and they leaned on traditional means to actually you know for power and to run the church now at the same time there were christian um what's it called good characters pj's wife that was actually played by lily afe that's what so she So there's some balance okay in great. instagram PJs. and at the same time also played by lola de okunsoya who played Sharon and Mary, Sharon the Ugandan, Mary the Nigerian. Until the very end, you could see that Mary still held on to her faith, her Christian faith at the same time. So, yeah, but th there, there are certain loopholes either way. Yeah, there were some loopholes, but I mean, hey. Yeah, and the, the, the movie was able to project the, the pain of a, of a lover that has been betrayed. What are the downsides? So the downsides of the movie is <laughs> the downside of Ijakumo is that there was a lot of proverbial I am the something that something like, just get straight to it. Was that Ijakumo or Jago Jago? I think that was that was also a Jago Jago. But I'm starting to understand that maybe that's part of the Yoruba Yeah, it is, to be culture. honest. You can't really get away from it, which is why I didn't really slam Jago Jago. Yes, and then they tried with the VFX, but the VFX mm, wasn't... That fight, that, that shootout. They, they tried with the shootout. I can never forget that shootout in Jacomo, man. That yeah, shootout was not it. Yeah, it wasn't it, very... Strong, but you know the thing? Like, see, I know effort, how it is to man. secure budget, and I know how hard it is to... Actually... To actually execute anything in Nigeria. So, like, I'm going to give them props for that shootout scene. Yes. For attempting it, because the fact that that shootout scene exists today, someone else is going to see that and better it. And, like, for that reason alone, I'm proud of whoever's idea that effort. was. So shouts to them for the effort. Effort, effort. But I really feel that there's certain things that could have just been wrapped up, like certain dialogues that could have just lengthy. been wrapped up. It was a lengthy I film, really yeah. feel that um, was it three hours, two hours, thirty? How long was that? That was one of that's the also, lengthy. I, I want to make this quick point that a lot of um, producers and directors don't execute properly. It's content marketing within. Um, the a movie product marketing rather within a movie there's a way to tie in products without letting me know that you are advertising an app that can make you do fx yeah transfers. the i uh, see this is the thing Eesh. we have to say tony Abraham, we understand you have to pay bills. the light <laughs> needs to stay on yeah <laughs> so we're gonna let this slide yeah but, but yo, you guys it, it felt like media assault at placement. some points like yeah the product placement is not subtle it's, it's not it's, subtle at all, it's not neat dog. like it's not now nah, it needs neat. to be subtle it's not subtle it's, it's neat subtle. but it's not subtle like, it wasn't neat if, if it's if it's in my in. face it's not neat it's in my face i could easily pick neat, up it's on neat it. the word what is what, what you say for example neat? there was a dialogue where she was going to transfer money no, what does neat mean that's what i'm trying to explain to you where she was going to transfer money to sharon literally and she said oh how are you able to do it? And she said don't she said oh you can use this app and i'm just like blood crap. yeah but is that was that untidy as well it's as well? untidy it's untidy it's, it's right. very untidy you don't need to tell me i oh, think i'm going to I think use it's, it's this fx too. app you can actually use this fx app to kinikon kinikon like no 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 okay well i mean hey that's that's fine that it, was Ijakumo, was Ijakumo, Ijakumo, Ijakumo was not bad overall but yeah we have to point out these things for me nigerian prince is a classic nigerian film that everyone needs to see like i picked this movie specifically because it's not a new movie it came out in 2018 but i feel like before it like disappears off the face Ijakumo of the earth came out sorry 2022 okay good last year last year but I feel like you need to see Nigerian Prince. It's a classic. I mean, Ooh, if you yeah. if you want a mild attempt at an honest look into the Nigerian lower middle class, then this movie is it. The central character is is, a, is an American teenager named Izzy, played by Antonio Bell, who arrives Lagos to a, to spend four weeks yeah. with his auntie um, Grace, Tinamba. played by Tinamba, and discovers that he's stuck here for school. Now his aunt Grace 
and his cousin Pius, played by Chinaza Uche, deliver solid performances. Grace wants to keep Eze on track, while Pius, a notorious scammer, plays a key role in his navigating the streets. Now, what I like about this movie is that it's a great watch, you know. For me, this is one of the best lighting executions I've seen in a Nigerian movie. Yeah. You don't have any music video lighting here. This is not LEDs blasting your subjects all over yeah. the place. There's natural lighting. It feels honest. It feels realistic. And it's like they knew the cameras to use to actually... To achieve this. Yeah. Where there needs to be shadows, there are shadows. Where there yeah. needs to be darkness, there's darkness. Where there needs to be light, there's light. It just works. The the, the lighting is honest. And another thing is the stakes are high enough as well. You, you watch Nigerian yes. movies. I just described a plot where a teenager comes back to Nigeria and gets stuck. Naturally, you expect this to be some low-stake, mid-level movie, but yeah. there's a corrupt police commissioner. He's basically a gang leader. He's basically taxing these criminals for crimes. He sends and, them to, to and, do and crimes. And it's, it's strange and how it, yeah. Eze gets entwined in all this through his cousin yeah. Pius. And it's just a great movie to watch. Um, outside of that, there's one thing I don't like. There's some loopholes. I mean, I can't really dis disclose the loophole because there's one big one at the end of the movie. But like, and it's, it, it has to do with the scammer and his cousin, but trust me, there's some loopholes. There's a loophole Let's that see if I you want watch to the talk movie. about. If you watch the movie, you might be there's able to There's a loophole that it. I... What is the loophole? Who is the person who acted as Pius? What's his real name? Um, Chinaza Uche. Chinaza Uche. Well, is his was Nigerian accent? not speaking Yeah, he was like giving us the Wakanda Niger accent. My man. man was giving us Wakanda. You know that you are supposed to be there. If you see a man going there, Come on, mate. Yeah, don't Come give on, us mate. that slow like Come he on, did. He mate. gave us that one. Yeah. You some gave us that. Blame. I was really not pleased. It's the yeah, same way um, um, Jimmy Odukoya and Woman King. Did you Jimmy know, Odukoya give us he Wakanda He gave accent. us Wakanda oh, accent. Damn. Same as John Boyega. What are you guys doing? Give us the... What are you honestly. guys doing? You can't speak like a robot. You are not so... You know you are not supposed to be like there. Like an evil man. If you, yeah. Your name is Chena Zauche. Give us the Nigerian accent. Tina Umba gave us the Nigerian accent as an educated um, mid-level, middle class, yeah, lower pro, middle class, professor, of, professor of, yeah, Nigerian accent. And then one thing I do love about... Um, even the, even the mom that was abroad that was gave abroad. us a Nigerian accent. Yes. So, so what happened, Mr. Uche? What's going on, Mike? Uche, my man just went to Wakanda and brought it to Nigeria. I was not impressed. I think that, that. was that, that one as I well. I wasn't so impressed. So those, those are the things that I can say about. And the, di of that, the director should have corrected him ASAP, honestly speaking. I think outside of that, the movie was great. I mean, I would recommend yes. you watch it um, as soon as possible. Nigerian Prince is a must watch. And, and I would, your, I would, your, your I would especially recommend it for communication students. Like film students. Yeah, it's a great film Honestly, for film students. You yeah. know, it'll teach you about lighting, teach you about like how to put sticks in your movie because yes. you can easily end up with we have a lot of boring Nigerian like, movies, but just boring. And the reason why they're boring is because there are no stakes. Like why do we care about what's happening? Here? Yeah. But here they're high stakes and you actually care. Yeah. Okay, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. It's, it's been a wonderful time having to review these amazing movies. Ijakumo and Ijakumo, Nigerian Prince. Yes, yes. Ijakumo, the, the Born, Born Again, Again Stripper, stripper yeah. and Nigerian Prince. Brilliant productions. Big ups to everybody that was part and parcel of that production. But it's we, it's a wrap. It's a wrap on Film Lab, on the Triple M show. And until next time, give us your thoughts. Give us your insights. Yes, these are movies that you should actually watch because it's worth your time and it's worth your while at the same time my quick film lab recommendation for ijakumo the nigerian strippers watch it with a group of friends it'll be great in your house watch it with a group of friends quick yeah i already said mine like just watch it man as soon as possible by yourself if necessary just this is a great film it's a classic everyone needs to see it yes and do not forget to follow us on our social media platforms on all social media platforms x instagram facebook youtube at jyb tv online until next time have a great time have a great watch and it's a wrap see you soon